Good morning. It is a very windy but warm day. I was really hoping to get some rain last night. Um, there's lots of clouds in the sky. However, it all passed by us. So Grant and I are out working on a pivot this morning. the freeze plugs in the bottom of the motor in the winter time we drain all the water out so they don't freeze because they sit out here all summer or all winter looks like uh, looks like a tedious job yeah I like your PTO shaft covers on this oh yeah you should you should look into those yeah so I was talking to your dad about them and he said they were old corn crib tubes pretty cool Okay, we're filling the cooling jacket up on the motor. So the motor doesn't have a radiator. The radiator, I don't spill it, that's antifreeze. So the well water runs through this pipe here and then the well water or the engine water runs over the water in there at separate pipes and cools it down and runs it back to the motor to keep it cool. You gotta fill it up before we can start it. Alright, the other ones are going to be a little more entertaining because... Do you want me to do them? Oh, I can barely lift that one and these are in buckets. These are in little top buckets here. <laughs> do what you got to do. Alright. There's a small chance that this will dump all over me. Okay, stand up wind. You got it. That went so much better than expected. Well, I got two more to do now. I, I can do them. Okay. You can. <laughs> okay. It's very heavy. Um, as Grant is doing that, so I'm remembering that last year, oh, you can barely do it. That last year, um, this field was beans and this field was corn. And I remember coming out here when the corn was like eight and a half feet tall and I started this motor for Grant. I remember that being really fun. It was a hot day. Yeah. It's fun coming back and reliving all the memories at different places in these fields. You know what, you know what kind of motor that is, Laura? Uh, oh, man. I, I, I don't remember. What brand uh, is it? Ford? It's Ford. Yeah. Hey, yes! Ford 460, with Ford 460 with natural gas. All right. Little crop update. This corn has been ridged and it is looking so nice and green. The whole landscape around the countryside has turned into one big green blanket. It's beautiful. So, in the last video, I mentioned that um, the cattle lots at the farm were empty because all of the cows spend the summer up at the pasture eating grass, just, you know, living their happy cow lives. So I thought I'd show you guys all the cute moms and their babies up here at the ranch. They have lots of lush green grass to munch on. All the babies run around. They're not, they're not babies anymore. They all run around together all summer. I love spending time up here. I just find it to be a very peaceful place. <sighs> cows have a nice relaxing summer ahead of them. Well, it's Friday. I'm back in the tractor again. And gosh darn it, we were supposed to get rain and we didn't get any. We got like three drops, maybe. Anyway, but that means that we get a finished ridging. If you would have gotten rain, it's pretty hard and dry out there. But uh, if you want to get your own lower farms hat to throw, go in the link in the description. It's pretty, uh, pretty good. They throw pretty well. So yeah, get your own lower farms hat to throw when you get frustrated. But uh, yeah, just out here, driving along. We're going five and a half, six miles an hour in places. 
We got dad going out there. And the other tractor. It's actually working pretty nice. I don't know if you can tell right now, but I'm on a hillside right now. And I'm on a hillside, I have to come over here and uh, punch the button. So we go up. Oh, that's too many. So it steers me up the hill a little bit. The guidance system does a pretty good job by itself. It always helps to steer it up a little so I don't run over any of the corn. Whack that mirror of the tree really good. So, but does anyone actually use mirrors on their tractor? Ours are completely filthy. We never use them. Dad and I are racing right now. We're going 5.8. Probably shouldn't go any faster. This is a corn on corn field, so there's a bunch of corn trash in there, and so it throws a lot of stuff. You can see the corn plants bouncing back there. Oh, I'm beating them. I'm moving ahead. I beat them. Beat them to the end. I'm turning around already. seen lots of nice comments in the comment section about my beard and hair length. I do notice them and thank you for coming. I've never had my beard this long before. So as far as I know, Laura likes it. At least she has said she hasn't liked it. So I'll keep that going for you guys. A few of our corn plants think it's going to be an excellent year. They're putting on tillers. So one seed's putting on two plants. They just think it's going to be an awesome year and they can support more than one plant, but they never do much. You know, from what I know, the, uh, the tillers don't help or hurt the plant too much, so. You guys, something awesome has just happened. So, a few weeks ago, a drill press fell out of the back of my pickup and dented my tailgate and I couldn't get it to open. Like you'd have to do the old farm truck shake and rattle to get it to open. And now it opens with one finger. It's so nice. I don't even know if I can consider this thing a farm truck anymore. Look at that. So nice. Probably can hang this bad boy up in the shop. I'll show you guys what the drill press looks like. The problem was I had it in there and I had it tied down one ratchet strap and I like accelerated up a hill and the ratchet strap broke. And so the drill press fell out the back, bent the tailgate up and I think the drill press is dead. Look at that bad boy. Bent that, this thing doesn't fit right. The motor mount got knocked off and it is just tacoed. So I think the overall lesson here is you should never buy ratchet straps from Harbor Freight. Some, oh, so Laura got a video of me buying a whole bunch of stuff at Harbor Freight, but I love the tools like sockets and wrenches because can't really screw up a socket or a wrench, but don't buy the ratchet straps there, they break. So I just got done editing this video and after watching it through, I realized that it was a primarily a Grant video. Uh, I hope that's okay. I'm assuming from the day I filmed that, that he worked in the afternoon and I didn't, but we still wanted to put a video out. So enjoy the extra grant content. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.